Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to download this app right here. It's called Spotify. It's for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. Now, to download and install it, all you have to do is go into your app store. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Um, so just go into your app store. We can just type it up here, app store, and then open it up. From there, you're just going to go to search, which is your bottom. You're just going to search for Spotify. Once you find it, here we go and we just download it okay so just click on where it says get right now you can see that it says open for me that's because I already downloaded but you would see get right now um, make sure you have Wi-Fi 3G network in order to download this app once it's downloaded we can just close this or just open it up from there in this case I just want to show you the app itself so it's down here below we're just gonna open it up and this is how you set it up so it's pretty basic setup um, you can sign in if you have a sign in already or sign up. So we're going to sign up because I want to teach you how to sign up for this. So do you need a real email? Not really. If you want to sign up with your Facebook, you can. I prefer to do it with my email or any email that I have. So I'm just going to do an email right now that I have. Now, you guys can put any email that you want um, for date of birth. Same thing. You can go anywhere you want. I'm just going to choose... Let's go to something to make us seem older if we're not as old as this app want us to be. So let's go to 1980. Why not? 79. Yeah, why not? Um, either or. And then you just click on sign up. So once again, make sure that email, um, although it may not be your main email or just maybe your junk mail email, just make sure it's a real email. Okay. From there, you just have to accept the policy. And you can begin for free. Now remember, you can pay for this, but for now, we're just gonna do the free version. If you guys like it a lot, a lot of people pay for it, but other than that, yeah, um, notifications, you can just say not allowed. For now, I'm gonna say actually not allowed. I usually don't allow apps to send me notifications unless it's a important one, such as Twitter. Um, from there, you can just click on done, top right hand corner. And then you can just get started. So as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, you could compare this app with Songsa app, which I'm gonna show you right now, just so you guys can see it. It's just something similar to it. So this Songsa, similar to it. Um, you still have to sign into it and, and do all your stuff. Um, it's free. There's no paid version for this one. That's because you get ads right here below, which you can see. Um, and Spotify, for example, it, it's the free version, so you're good to go. Um, as you can see, it's just like a radio, kind of, and uh, you can just listen to any type of music that you want just by click on it, clicking on it. So I'm just going to click on this for now. And then you can just put start radio. Or you can just pick the ones that you want to listen to. Okay, so it's a pretty cool app, pretty nice looking, pretty easy to go through everything you just have to tap and you can always go back with the arrow right on the side and uh, yeah that's about it guys uh, that's all I wanted to show you it's just about tapping what you want to listen to and that's about it if you guys have any questions comments you can write them here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you